Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we do beer related content. Um, we do a lot of product reviews and tips and tricks and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so if you uh, this is your first time, welcome. I have a lot of people that have been checking out my mask series. This is video number seven, lucky number seven. Uh, and I have found something that works very well for my beard that I'm going to go over with you uh, and talk about a couple of different styles. Uh, and that is from the Unlimited clothing style store so uncs unlimited clothing style i think that's what that stands for but we'll get to that in just a minute um so just to, to rehash we're looking for something that's beard friendly so it doesn't put the line in your beard so anything that wraps around like a, a normal surgical mask does um, doesn't work so we've kind of been through a whole progression of things so realized pretty quickly that we needed something to go straight instead of wrapping around so we have this one from the Sammy G collection off Etsy. You can go back and check that out. And we talked about in general, kind of the general neck gaiters and the pros and cons of those. I found some that have ear holes in it. Uh, I hate it when it covers up my ears because you already feel like you're losing like multiple senses at one time, right? You kind of messes up your smell because you got your nose covered up. Um, if, it if you cover up your ears, I feel like I kind of lose my equilibrium. Uh, and then you start covering all of this stuff up and it feels claustrophobic phobic uh, but anyway so pros and cons of neck gaiters was video two we had a unique design from detroit grooming uh, for video three uh, video four we talked about general uh, bandanas right handkerchief band bandanas and some of the pros and cons of that it's a really good option uh, you just wrap it around and tie it in place and it does stay very well um, doesn't mess up your beard at all however uh, it does have its drawbacks uh, as well one of the biggest ones is if it depends on where you're tying it you starts to cover up your ears or if you put it down here eventually it's going to fall down uh, had the same issue with it falling down with the one from detroit grooming uh, and then we had a shorter style here this one is from another clothing company this one was birdwell beach britches and it went down in front but it curved around a little bit very very comfortable uh, this was the first one that had something kind of cut out a design for your nose and mouth so it's actually the best one i found for a mustache a big mustache and then we talked about a handkerchief and neck gaiter hybrid and i really like this design it works very well so it's kind of like a, a bandana in the front but it's got ear holes, uh, ear loops in it, and then it kind of cuts up in the back. So it's very comfortable, um, not quite thick enough, but I do have another one today to go through that's similar to that. Once again, this is from the Unlimited Clothing Style. So I bought one. Uh, well, first of all, I saw the picture and was like, that might work. And at this point, I've spent a whole lot of money on it. So I did reach out to the company, didn't hear anything back from them. So I went ahead and ordered one. It's like, okay, I'll take a chance. It was uh, a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones that I found. I think it was $12 plus, uh, plus shipping. I'll have to go back and double check all that stuff out. Uh, anyway, it was, it was not as expensive as some of the other ones. And I tried it and it worked very well. First of all, uh, it's got all of this kind of stuff. So it's kind of like an old style surgical mask where they kind of uh, tied all that stuff up. I remember watching the, the sitcom MASH and it was supposed to be set in the Korean War times. So they, they had to tie everything up like that. So that's kind of what this is, but it's super soft material. This is like your favorite t-shirt, like this one. Like It's like your favorite t-shirt uh, and it does have two layers to it which is exactly what you want for, for the CDC recommendations. So this one is the perfect amount of thickness and it's super soft. It goes right in your pocket, even though it's got all this stuff, it doesn't have extra clasp or anything like that. So it does fold right up, it can go in your pocket. So I tried it on and it worked very well for me. It's got a, a little design there, it's got a little pouch for it as well. Now this will not work on everybody's beard. Uh, if when you measure your beard, it's four inches or less from like your, uh, uh, the bottom of your lip down, mine's like three and a half right now, but I just trimmed it so it was four. It'll work anything up to four inches for sure. And let me go ahead and tie this, tie one on for you boys. Here we go, so we're gonna tie this on. And uh, the way you can do it is just kind of tie it into a little bow. That's the way I do it. Um, can get it back out pretty easily. And once again, the best part about this type is uh, it's not going up and over your head constantly. 
All right, so don't tie it too tight on the bottoms. It's kind of really just about as loose as I can on the bottom. And it's perfect for me. I could wear this all day. It's not covering all of this stuff up. It's not covering up my ears. I'm not feeling quite as claustrophobic. It's got the little pouch that works well for the mustache and nose area. Uh, and then at the bottom, it's got, a, it's got another little uh, portion like that and it kind of curves under. Uh, but without putting a, a line in my beard because my beard's a little shorter. So this one works super well for me. So I'm thinking, yes, I'm going to go ahead and order a couple more because I think I'm going to have to wear these every day. So I ordered two more. So I did that. And when I got the, the other two, I've got a little different design on it. And what I realized is I was wearing it upside down <laughs> from what they were supposed to be. Um, so there's two little things on it. There's one that's uh, longer, I think, supposed to start to wrap under your chin. So I actually use that for the nose area and the shorter ledge goes under my beard, which was fine. But uh, when I got the other ones, they had logos on them. So I realized the logos I had upside down on it. But anyway, I don't care. I'll wear them upside down. Uh, one of the issues with the other two that I ordered them, so these three I paid for, they did send me one of their neck gaiters to try out. Uh, I'll be talking about that in just a minute. Let me line these things up and I'll show you. The, the one I just showed you was actually the longest of the three. When I line all these up, they're cutting three different lengths. So I didn't like that. I tried wearing the red one today and the red one, it was too short to be able to tie in a bow. I had to like tie it in the double, double knot kind of thing. I think the black one will work okay that I got, uh, but the, definitely the longest one was the one that I got first. Uh, and I actually tried this. You can actually use some of these little plastic doodads um, so I would suggest that for the company to kind of throw that in as well, because some people are like, I wouldn't want to keep tying that over and over. Uh, you can feed them through and use one of these little plastic doodads uh, on it and just kind of cinch it. All right. But anyway, here are the other two and you can see they've got lots of different designs. So this is upside down. So it's got the UNCS. I had to be careful because I really didn't want a UNC logo because that's like UNC Chapel Hill College. Uh, and I went to NC State the, um, and they're, they're arch rivals in the ACC. So I tried to make sure not to get anything that looked like UNC Chapel Hill. So there's no uh, baby blue on this. So I got a black one and a red one. Uh, they look very good. So after I'd already ordered the first one, the company reached out, finally got back to the message I sent them. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, we can send you one. And I said, well, wait a minute, I've already bought one, so no worries. Uh, and I told them what style I bought. It's like, oh, wait a minute. One of our guys says uh, you need the neck gaiter if you got a beard. So they sent me on a neck gaiter. So this style is kind of halfway in between uh, the, the neck gaiter that I went over in video two because it does have the ear holes in it. But it also in the back, it is kind of cut up uh, similar to the one from the last video, which is a design I really like. All right, so it comes up like that. The little bit different is it's got the ear holes and it doesn't have the loops on it in the back. So let me show you on this one. I'll show you the pros and cons of it. Once again, it's great material. All right, it's that super soft, your favorite uh, old cotton t-shirt kind of deal. And it's got the nose pouch on it. But for me, this is too tight through here. All right, so too tight for a big beard. And the other thing is I've got weird shaped ears, um, but the ear holes, uh, not everybody's ears are shaped the same. And it just kept pulling and pulling and pulling on my ears. And it's kind of very uncomfortable. So the part that I would have liked to see is have this part scooped out and then to have more like the ear loops. Let me show you. Let me put this other one on. This was the one I got off Amazon that we went over in the last video. I think I had a black one on at the time. I got a three pack on that. But you can see the difference is this one's looser through here um, and it is shaped the same here, but in the uh, up here it's cut out. So on the one I just put on, it kept sliding down. And when it kept sliding down, it kept pulling on the top of the ear holes. Uh, so a little bit different design. So I think one little tweak on that um, and it would be really good. Um, but once again, I'm going to use this one on a daily basis and then probably use some of these other ones off of the last video. So those are the two best ones uh, that I have found. Uh, I was a little bit con uh, concerned and disappointed about the three different lengths on the ties here. So um, one thing they could do to remedy that was to put those little plastic um, cinching things on there instead. But 
Sorry, that was a mouthful, but I want to kind of give a uh, talk about those and kind of give a big highlight overview of everything from all of my videos because I think this is the last one uh, unless something really jumps out at me. Now, I have a few companies uh, that are reaching out to me or I, I, I've contacted in the past as I was kind of going through this, but I'm not looking on doing this forever and ever because uh, it gets expensive. But if another company is interested in sending me one out for free, I'll be glad to evaluate it for them and make another video for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, you found something that works for you if need be. Uh, if you found something different, please tell me in the, uh, in the comments there, I know a lot of guys have uh, liked the videos and they've either steered away or they saw something they liked and they've ordered it from that. So that was kind of the point of doing this is uh, I had to do my research anyway. I had to buy up some of these. So I thought I would share what I found with you guys uh, to keep you from wasting some money on some stuff. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for joining me on this. I hope you subscribe and you can see some more videos that we've got coming up. All right. Thanks.